Yo guys, how is everyone doing? We have reached our goal. So when I started Project Team of the Air, I, uh, I wanted to, well, maybe not right at the start, but the past few months, I wanted to reach 1,000 packs. And as you can see, we are on 1,003 packs. I did actually open a lot of packs off stream. I opened a load of gold packs and load of the... Uh, what are they called? The 11 gold player packs, the one you get from the daily gold upgrade. I think I had about 40 of the 11 gold rare, no, not rare, the 11 gold player packs. And I thought I'd just open all of them, put all the dupes that I get into upgrade packs, um, just so that I can convert some of the some of the rubbish packs into good packs. I was focusing on this winter wild card crafting upgrade because I have heard that common cards, uh, there's not really a, a good place to put common cards. Some people say in this 81 double, but obviously you need to put rares in this uh, and the rares you're probably going to put in the league specific packs. Um, so yeah, commons, where do commons go? If you have this winter wildcard crafting upgrade, this is probably the best place. I still have 110 of these to do. Um, but uh, yeah, so I so I opened all those those gold common player packs. I think you got one rare in them and I did a few wood wildcard crafting. And uh, yeah, the, as I said, 1,003 packs. It's looking good, looking good. I have one mil. What premium upgrade should I put in for full release? I would either do La Liga or Prem. I think, um, oh my God, so many people have been posting about it. So Prem has uh, Alisson, Diaz, uh, Van Dijk, uh, De Bruyne, Rodri, Haaland, and then um, is it Erps, the, the women's keeper, Bright, uh, and Kerr. So that's nine. 19 with the ads and La Liga has uh there's, uh, there's Bellingham there is uh Bonmati Putelas and Hansen I think uh, and there's the the right back for the women's team as well and I think that might be it so there's six six team with the ads for women uh or for La Liga uh, most of them being women and then the Prem has nine most of them being men so I would go for one of those two probably the prem that's what i'm doing our red picks uh back on the 25th red picks uh well it depends i i'd assume that ea do release a new objective because uh they did it last season they did it this season as well for this uh, winter champion bonus so i'd I'm, i'd assume that they're going to release it again uh but there's no guarantee so i uh so if you have a red pick available right now try to use it on a player that will, will matter a lot but i i assume that it's going to come back hopefully uh so um i do not plan on crafting too much until friday once friday comes around we open our packs we'll recycle back into upgrades but until then uh, honestly look our coin budget is really low maybe i'll get a few a few more winter wild card crafting because i have quite a lot of commons uh it would it would probably be a waste to not put the cards into here if i go commons how many pages one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty, uh, thirty-four. So I can do. Um, oh my God, yo, NT six month sub. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. That is a nice start to the stream. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I've, I actually lost count. What was I on? I was on like thirty-four or something. We could do another 34 of these winter wildcard crafting. Actually, it's more like 30. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll decide if I'm going to do some more of them. I think they expire soon, so we'll have to sort that out. Um, but look, the we have how many more days? We, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We've got three more days until the full release, plus the honorable mentions, plus the 12th man, plus 12th woman. I, I am, was so close. Like Opening packs right now would be so silly. Uh, so uh, if I do 30 more of these, we will have the premium gold player pack, which isn't too bad. A rare players pack. Okay, I might I might have to reach 60 and then an 83 times five. Like it's not it's not too crazy. I don't know. Like where else are my commons going to go? That's the that's the thing that I'm thinking about. Like I can't think of anything where I'd put common cards. So I guess I do this 30 more of these uh, 80. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go for that. 90 isn't anything too crazy either. Uh, 100. Uh, yeah, these these aren't too good. I, I think the 83 times 10 is the best one. 
Then you get another 83 times 10 there. Um, and then for completing the whole thing, 83 times 20. Yeah, I don't know. Like if I if I had a load more common cards, I would definitely complete this. But I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to get it up. Probably just stop at the, the 70. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, and they could go into the Premier League upgrade. The problem with this Premier League upgrade or uh, any of the, the league specific upgrade packs, the rare one kind of makes sense, right? Uh, if we can go to it. Yeah, so the, the Premier League uh, and the, uh, what's it, BWSL? Yeah, and the, uh, which one? Yeah, this one, La Liga and Liga F. Those are the two best ones. So you get uh, 11 players, four of them being rares. Four rares, you've got a good chance of, or not a good chance, you've got a chance of packing a team with the air, right? Obviously, like, you're not expecting to get one. But if you do like a thousand of these, maybe, maybe you'll get lucky and or not, not even a thousand, maybe like 500 or less. You could end up doing one of these and pack something. The problem with the one that isn't premium is you get one rare, four players, one rare. I just don't think that's good value for putting 11 commons. Of course you get, you get three commons back. So would you, would you submit eight common cards for one rare? It just seems a bit, a bit too much. Like you could argue that the premium ones are too much. You're submitting 11 rares to get four rares back. Um, but the, the rare cards, you're not going to have any use for them. Well, neither will you for the commons. But what I have heard people saying is you could get one rare doing this uh, upgrade pack or if you have the uh, the one that I was just talking about, the Winter Wildcard one, you get three rares from this. The problem is it's not league specific, but you do get three more rares, which means that either you, you pack something good from it, like whether it's fodder or special card, team of the airs, honorable mentions, um, anything, anything good. So you can get something good in this or you're able to just get more rares to craft. So would you rather have more players to craft or the league specific, but only get one rare each time. I just feel like one rare is just nowhere near enough uh, to justify doing that. And then once you've run out of this winter wildcard or once it expires in two days, um, the, the thing I've heard some people saying is uh, the upgrade pack that literally no one does, the, the just the basic gold upgrade. Uh, this one, the gold upgrade, because you get two rares from this. So again, it's like the, the league specific ones I guess you increase your chance if you're going for a specific card, if you're going for uh, well, any of the any of the players from that league. But I just feel like just for craftability uh, to get as many rares as you can back into the club. And remember, the, the more rares you have, the more of the premium upgrades you can do. I just feel like these these normal upgrades are just not worth it. Um, didn't mean to delete that. Knocked my phone. <laughs> okay. Wait, what was it? Like 0 0.0001%. Yeah, I uh, I know that the chances are so low, but we we need something to recycle into. I just feel like these upgrades are probably not the best place for your commons. The rares, well, the, the premiums are basically the only thing you can put into the commons. I feel like because you have more options, you, you, you should probably go for something else. That's what I'm thinking. A new team with the icon team out today. Oh yeah, there is team two. Um, team one goes out with the midfielders and also Sawa or have you say her name probably always uh, end up saying her name wrong uh, she is coming out, out as an SBC uh, hey how I got Kurt on the weekend that is really nice uh, but hey there's always hope look I've got a th I've got a thousand packs here you know what? what I wanted to do is actually count how many packs I open because I um, obviously like, I'm going to be opening packs, doing upgrades. I might lose count ha uh, exactly how many. So I actually want to put a counter on my phone. Every time I open a pack, I, I press it just just so that I know by the end of Team of the Year, how many packs we opened and how many Team of the Year's we get. Look, I, I don't think we're going to get a Team of the Year. I keep saying this, but I feel like this year I'm just going to be very, very unlucky. But I want to I want to count exactly how many packs we're opening from start to finish. 1003 starting off with I don't actually know how many packs you could get from that just by continuously recycling and I kind of wanted to do no man left behind um well if I, if I get one dupe in the pack one single dupe then I'll probably discard if I get anything more than one I'll always recycle I'll always just do more upgrades so I'm, I'm predicting we can reach like minimum 1500 packs I do wonder if we can get closer to 2000. It's going to be very difficult to open a thousand packs and then craft an extra thousand. But that's what I'm going to try. Remember, we're going to be doing like so many SBCs uh, and you get packs for, for doing the icon SBCs. I keep saying the first SBC I'm going to go for is Eusebio. And that's an extra. How many packs? How many teams do I have remaining? Okay. 
Um, just okay. Decided not to show up. My internet is working on my PC. I do not know. I think you save yours like twenty squads or something, and I've done two. So that's like eighteen extra packs, um, and just all the upgrades, everything. I I think I think we're gonna we're gonna have a lot. Xavi super good. Got him in the eighty five plus pick. I'm surprised how cheap he is. Isn't he like five hundred k or six hundred k? Uh, like, I understand Xavi's never been, like, the most meta card, but those passing stats and those um, dribbling stats and just his pace, shooting and defending all being, like, big upgrades. Like, comparing... Yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's going on um, with, the, with the servers right now. Comparing to his base card, the boost is just... It's honestly crazy. So he's got plus one in rating, six pace, six shooting, five passing, five dribbling, seven defending, seven physical. And that's a, that's a plus one in his rating. I know rating doesn't mean anything, but they've given him pl uh, anywhere between plus five and plus seven in every single one of his stats. And I'm like, 600k? Really? Is he really not as good as the, the team of the years uh, from the actual team? Like, surely you can compare him to Rodri, De Bruyne, Bellingham. And then uh, even even like Oberdorf, uh, Bonmati and Patelas is like, <laughs> I guess he's pretty much the same price as Oberdorf, but surely those stats are crazy, no? I don't know. I think you'll get three. If I get three, then um, then I'll be very happy. As long as it's three like individual team of the years. I don't want to get Erps three time. Uh, doesn't he expire soon? His places are really good. I don't think, I don't think he expires. You're talking about uh, Eusebio. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got a long time to get it done. Yeah, 23 days. Like I'll be I'll be done with this on the first day of Team of the Air. Oh, not the first day of Team of the Air. The first day that I'm opening packs, I'll probably be done. Look, I, I'm planning... Oh, what am I planning to do? So, I don't know if this is 100% true, but I've heard that the icons are going to get re-released on Sunday. Both, uh, both the Team 1 and Team, team 2. Oops. Yeah, I, there's a there's a lot of time. Yeah, I, apparently both Team One and Team Two gets released on Sunday. Now I don't remember it from last year, but that's what happened last year. Both teams got released, so I'm thinking majority of my packs should probably be open on Sunday. I know look, I want to get the maximum amount of cards. I know it's just gonna delay and delay when I'm actually doing this huge pack opening, but I do want to do most on Sunday. So what I was thinking: 200 packs on Friday, 200 packs on Saturday, and then. The rest of my packs on Sunday to whenever Team of the Air goes out of packs. Like, I do want to open packs, but at the same time, save majority for Sunday. So, yeah, I I don't want to just carry on delaying and delaying. But Sunday might actually be the best time to open packs. Dwarf Man is Ronaldo. Yeah, I think I think I heard that. Well, as soon as the, the vote came out, I feel like that was pretty much confirmed, you know? Not even before... No, when, when the Team of the Air was announced, I'm pretty sure we all knew that Ronaldo was going to get the Dwarf Man... We got squad redeemed. Let's have a look at your team. Why not Trent? Uh, I sent you on Twitter. Oh my god, I haven't haven't been sent these squad um, squad reviews on Twitter in a while. Here we go. If I can switch, there we go. Uh, so Cassius and goal, interesting. I keep hearing his thunderstruck is insane, uh, but I haven't, um, I haven't seen too many people talk about his base card. You got Cafu, you need to let me know how good he is. You got Maldini, you need to let me know how good he is because those are two SPCs that I kind of want to do. I think those are the two that I like. Of all the SPCs out right out right now, I want to do them, but they're kind of low on the priority list. I've just heard. 50% of people say Maldini's crazy. 50% of people saying that he's just nowhere near as good as he was in previous years. So I'm not too sure. Same with Cafu. I've heard a lot of people say, if you've got a really good right back already, there's no need for him. And I have got Lorente. You could argue that he's not as good as before, uh, but I still really enjoy his card. Van Dijk, obviously overpowered. DeMarco has a very good... Uh, that's his Evo card, right? Uh, Makaleli, another card that I've heard some good things about. I know... Um, I know Munda's always talking about him. Best, uh, people say he's one of the best cards uh, during Team of the Air. Uh, people are saying he's such, such good value. Xavi, really good. Zidane, really good. And then you've got, um, that's McManaman and, and Vola. I would definitely say those two are kind of letting your team down. I did see this McManaman with, uh, 
with the foot champs design and this is like one of the few cards that actually looks so 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 nice with the the foot champs red behind him uh volo very interesting like compared to the rest of your team those two definitely stand out um as maybe not the best cards but they they are somewhat usable i guess if they're in your team i'm guessing they're not too bad but yeah your the rest of your team the other nine players are probably extremely good extremely meta i just don't know about the two heroes uh but yeah solid solid team if you need any uh recommend recommendations let me know i'll try help uh walker better than trent <laughs> Both are amazing, so worth it. Not gonna lie, Volo rarely misses for me. I, uh, oh God, I, I don't know. I keep hearing people say Maldini is not worth it, and he's like 1.3 million coins worth of fodder. Like, his, his play style just seems so weird. Like, slide tackle plus. I'm pretty sure like, I, I didn't watch Maldini, but I'm pretty sure I heard people say that he just never used to slide tackle, which makes this so weird. Um, like not having anticipate block jockey bruiser any of that not having any any other like physical ones apart from aerial i don't know just having intercept and slide tackle i just don't slide tackle in this game so unless i'm going to like train myself to slide tackle with him that's just a waste of play star plus and i'm spending 1.3 mil like his stats look good he's going to be an upgrade to my romero but it just seems like so, so many coins. At first, when he came out, I was like, yeah, this is 100% guaranteed. Now I'm kind of like Eusebio, then Best, then Soa, then Bruno Fernandes, then Alfonso Davis. Uh, no, not even Alfonso Davis. Like, he's also in the list with Cafu and Maldini. It's like my priority is Eusebio, Best, and Soa and Bruno Fernandes, and then if I still have fodder after that, which if I do, I'll, I'll be surprised. Like, I know I have a lot of packs, but to still have fodder after that, after doing like 40 squads, I'll be surprised. But if I do, then I'll consider doing the other ones. Then I guess I'd, it would go in the order of, uh, I guess I'd go Maldini, then Cafu, then Alfonso. The thing with Alf Alfonso is he is probably the best fullback in the game. Uh, sorry, best left back in the game. He's probably going to last until team of the season. Uh, however, just the price of his card compared to Backer, who was like 150k. And I'm sure Alfonso is better, better but is it really going to be 800k better? I don't know. Um, yeah, Vola, Vola I, would definitely, I, would, I would definitely try and prove that. What's your squad now? Uh, this is the squad. <laughs> it's it. It's behind the power curve. I'm thinking of bringing uh, a Schmeichel back. Like, um, like neither of them are that good. Goalkeepers always make mistakes. I want, I want Larissa because he's a he's a Spurs player. But I feel like he, I don't know, I don't know. Schmeichel made a lot of mistakes as well. I don't know. Lorente, most played player in my club, 680 games. Uh, Romero is like every single stream I say this. Romero is so underrated. I'm not saying that because I'm a Spurs fan, but pace is more than usable. Defending and physical is crazy. Like the passing isn't even that noticeable because he's got uh, this long ball pass, which actually does really help. Like that is maybe not extremely noticeable, but you usually do long passes with your with your centre back. So his passing isn't even that bad. Um, and yeah, dribbling. Obviously, you're not really going to dribble too much with your centre backs. Blanc overpowered. Cessignon, uh, not as good as his stats suggest, but still very good. Five star, five star as well. I play him as a centre mid. Renato, extremely underrated. I'll say this all the time. Like, he's just got such a good card. And this was an Evo, and not many people got this done. And look at that. Look at that card. Look. Speaking of Evos, I will show you guys something in a bit. A Billy. Uh, I still, I'm still debating who's better. Bonpastor, a Billy, or even. Um, no, wait, sorry, De Jong, De Jong or Billy, or even Bon Pastor, because I used her at centre mid as well. But yeah, De Jong was so good. 160 games seems crazy, because it feels like I've played more, like, way, way, way more games with De Jong. Um, but yeah, De Jong is definitely comparable. And then this guy, still in my team, <laughs> probably a card that I should have upgraded a long time ago. I don't know how I've played 207 games with him, and his returns are crazy as well. And then Kane Griezmann, Bako obviously playing her at fullback. I did get this red uh, cane done like literally an hour ago and I was really really debating it because that blue fade just completely ruins his card but I'm like out of all my uh, cards in my starting 11 I kind of like that Centauro design kind of it's it's a unique design you don't see it too often never going to get rid of the the thunderstruck never going to get rid of the end of era never going to get rid of the icon design the uh, radioactive design gives him the chem 
Uh, with the wild card, I don't even hate that much. This card, uh, card design, what is it? The the road to the knockouts looks quite nice. Uh, even this one, it's like it, it doesn't look like a nice design. But because I don't I don't really have any of these uh, these Evo designs in my team, thought I might as well have one. And then this, it's not even a bad design. So it's like <laughs> I couldn't think of anyone. I just thought, okay, let's just put on Kane. Um, do Cafu over Maldini? Cafu is insane. The thing is, I, I, I last year I loved his World Cup card. The year before that, I loved his was it moments icon moments. I loved it so much. This year, I used this th Thunderstruck in draft, and it's good. It's really good. But is it like a million times better than this Lorente card? I'm not too sure. After 411 games, King is uh, <laughs> oh my god, King is such a weird one because like. I don't think that many people completed him because it was it was a relatively expensive SPC. It was like 300k, right? I don't think that many people completed him, but everyone that has completed him said that they really liked his card. And I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's because I play with such a high line and I play with all my players going forward, which means he has to sprint back so much. He just felt like so sluggish. And I, I don't know if it's his body type, but he felt like so fat in game and like so slow and... I have so many centre backs that are slower. Look, Romero seventy eight pace, Blanc seventy eight pace. That's four less pace. Yet they just they just completely outpace King. I don't know what it is. I played a lot of people in chance with King. Really, like I've I've come up him like uh, I've come up against him a couple times, but just I not often, not often. I feel like when he's when he's actually in the box, he's so so solid. But because of how high I play, he's rarely ever in the box. Like most of my defensive plays, I'm sprinting back. Uh, because I'm getting hit on the counter because I've got 11 players forward. He was so good before the patch. Uh, Miss King before the patch, he was unreal. I don't know what it was. Like, I, I'm so sad that I didn't enjoy this card because I think when I when I was first getting into football, this was like, he was the guy. He was um, like the main guy at Tottenham, right? And look, his play styles look so, so good. He's such a like loyal player for the club as well. Like, I, I really, really like Ledley King. So I, it was just a bit sad that I didn't enjoy his card. And I, I felt like, okay, Ledley King, his card design was terrible. One of the worst card designs. I'm so happy I got his card red. Um, best defender I've ever played in all of FIFA's. Also have company sitting in the bench, which is so painful, especially being a City fan. Yeah, company I've heard is really good this year. After the patch, he was still good, but only good. Have company sitting on the reserves. Yo, you guys... <laughs> Look, I, I've got this triple threat Madison on my on my bench, and you guys have better cards in your reserves. Like this Kulusevski is terrible. Like I'm I'm so sad I wasted 100k. Uh, this Alvarez, uh, look, I I don't think he's got that good of a card, but just a bit of a club legend. You look at those stats, the games played. I thought I felt like just before I retire his card, I had to get his card red. Uh, Loftus Cheek actually really underrated. Such a good CDM. Dion, Dion Bonpastor. These two are like the two best cards on my bench <laughs> and I don't often bring them on. Uh, who else do we have in the club that are like kind of club legends? Mm, this this Lee Kang in. 14 games off the bench. I think I actually played him in squad battles as well just for objectives. A eh, bit underwhelming. Um, there was there was another card. Look at this Depay. How many games? 214 games. Yeah, when I first got the game I was playing so much more than now. Um, what else? What else? There was, there was one more card. Bentancur, 121 games. How did I play this many with him? It does not feel like 121 games. Yo, that's crazy. Um, Danjuma, how many games? 113. Pedro Porro, 75. Yo, there was a, there was a centre mid. Who was it? There was someone, um, there was someone on my, uh, on my, like, not in my team. This is it the Van der Boomen? Haven't even used this card, but I've heard such good things about him. I don't know. I don't know. There was one more card. I must have put him into an SBC because I wasn't using him. But there was another club legend. But yeah, the the team. I, I can't wait for the before and after. I'm gonna save this team uh, and then make a new squad after team of the air and just compare because it's gonna be such a big upgrade. 510 games on Perlo Centauran and 477 on Gold Salah, both in red. Oh my god, I don't like City. Why would I play an X-Man City player? Good uh, Van Dyke player. Uh, made Centauran Yashin red. Uh, wait, Centaur um, Centauran Yashin? Do you mean Winter Wildcard? 
Um, oh yeah, I was going to say about evolutions. I'm sure you guys have seen this card going around on Twitter. As you can see, bought for 10k. I'm not going to lie. I think I spent about four or five hours on and off searching for this. Like I'd spend, I'd spend like 20 minutes searching, go and do something else, come back like constantly throughout the whole night. I saw this and I was like, I cannot miss out. So this is, this is Adopo. And um, honestly, I think I would find a card showing up on the market probably once every 100 searches. I It was so, so long. I think I probably searched for this card over 5,000 times. Honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if it was like 10,000. I even debated, or not even debated, I even tried to use uh, macros. So I went on the web app. I uh, I had something from before. You can basically command or use your keyboard to do commands. And I literally, I, I know this is probably, basic, this is basically a bot, right? Which so many people are against. I'm against it as well, a sniping bot. But I was even doing that for a bit. I ended up buying him on the console, but I had a, a button that would reduce the price because I, th I think I think you have to do it, right? You have to reduce the price to refresh the market. Then had another button to search. And then I had another button to buy now. And then I had another button to like back out, back to the search filter. I even did it. I even did it like that. Uh, that didn't that, that didn't seem to work. But I was trying every, everything to win this card. And I'll show you what his card can be. Because this, this is an insane card. I feel like the Evo glitch is going to get patched because of how good this card is. Honestly, um, honestly, it's, it's disgusting. If you guys haven't seen it, I will show you it uh is it, is it this one okay i i know there were a lot of different posts going around so i don't know which is the best version and which version i'm going for but this is honestly this honestly makes me sick this is apparently the card that you can craft with the evo glitch you can get a 98 rated card 87 pace 96 passing obviously the the curve Free kick crossing tiny bit low. 96 dribbling composure is composure and balance is definitely really really low. 98 defending, 93 physical with the stamina a bit low. So he definitely has a lot of a lot of downsides to his card. Stamina, composure, balance, probably the three biggest ones. But this this is this is a this is a footies level card. No. 96 passing, 96 dribbling, 98 defending, 93 physical. I believe, I don't know if like like I said, a lot of people are posting different ones i know depending on which evo you chose you can get different cards but i feel like the physical might even be higher it might even be 98 as well and you got the five star weak foot long ball pass plus anticipate pinged pass bruiser slide tackle jockey i i i'm so worried that ea will patch the evo glitch but there's a reason that i i was sniping this guy for five hours trying to get him and bought him for 10k coins and i think it's going to cost about 225k to get this done. Three different Evos that cost 75k. Yeah, I, I, I really hope EA don't patch it. But this is this is probably one of the, the best Evos that I've seen. Um, am I logged in on Footwiz? I am. So I think... If I go Custom Chain, I go Adopo. Is it Adopo? Yeah, that's his name. Where is he? Oh, that's oh my god, that's literally the the Evo search. Adopo. Here, okay. So I think it's keep up level one, fast forward, team of the unsung hero. I believe that's it. Uh, so is this is this the same card? Eighty seven pace, eighty seven, seventy three, ninety six, ninety six, ninety eight, ninety three. Yeah. For some reason, I thought his physical was a bit higher, but that's the that's the Evo you can get. It's, it's genuinely disgusting. And then uh, this other Evo glitch that I'm trying to get done, if I can remember correctly, it is Growth Spurt, Patrick Who, and then Team of the Year Visionary. And this is this is another card that I'm trying to get. Obviously, nowhere near as good. 88 pace, 99 physical, the two key stats. 82 defending a bit low, but I think he's also going to be radioactive, uh, which will get him that full cam. Um, I'm also trying to get that. Um, so, you know what, Evos, I, I really, really hope uh, EA don't fix this Evo glitch. But it's, it, is, it is disgusting how, how crazy you can make those cards. Um, 
We got a squad review from NT. Wait, oh my god, I just saw the cat. Uh, uh, wait, I wait, I just I just saw the cat. Love it. Yeah, the cat. I don't know. I don't know why she's always in the background of the streams. She does sleep in my room a lot, um, but she's always there. You know, some sometimes she even sleeps in this uh, this drawer with all my like wires. There's like a there's a space for her to sleep. She does come in there often. Um. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited this this Adoko card. I think it's going to take three weeks to get done because you with the Evo glitch, you do need to wait for the Evo to expire. Then, uh, well, if you guys don't know, so you, you start an Evo, you do the objective, but you don't claim it. Then you uh, can put him into any other Evo. And then again, you don't claim it. You put it in the final Evo, you complete it, and then you claim all of them together. Let me just quickly do a squad review and I'll explain the, the whole thing that goes on. Uh, so, let's see your team. Larice in goal. <laughs> Get his Evo done, please. I can't be seeing this this um, this Larice Evo. You got the Saar Evo as well. This is another card that I'm trying to get done. And I'm holding off uh, claiming the Evo just because I want to try put him into something else. But I think that's the exact same card that I'm going to get. Uh, as long as there's no new evos uh, around. you got Essien there as well. You know what, you have to use Saar. You can't be using Essien. Uh, Cafu there, Araujo, Ledley King, Cole. Very, very good defence. Uh, let's see this Essien. 440 games played. Yeah, he, he has an okay card. I do feel like it's nowhere near as good as previous years. De Jong, very good. Perlo, good. Uh, oh no, <laughs> another disconnect. Salah's very good. Mbappe is really good. Smith... I would probably get someone else with Smith. I'd, I'd try get that as your next upgrade. Uh, look, the whole of Team in the Air, I'm guessing you're going to be grinding, right? You're going to be opening packs. You're going to be uh, doing upgrade packs. My, If I was you, my my goal would be try get a new striker. The rest of your team is solid. Let's have a look. What else? What else? As well? Oh, you're trying to get best done. Uh, yeah, I would probably... Best can play left wing, right? He can, can't he? George Best. He can play left wing. Yeah, so I, I guess I'd play Mbappe striker best left wing. And then take the... the uh, What's her name? Smith. I'd take Smith out of your team. But yeah, very, very good team. Probably better than my team. Probably way better than my team. I just I just can't wait for me to open packs and start improving my team. I'm going to have like a full SPC squad. Like I was showing you guys the other day. Apart from the striker position, I've got a, a team for post team of the air. If I don't pack any team of the air cards, then I've got something prepared. Uh, there we go. Prime gaming pack. Um... It's showing up now. Uh, so this is this is the current squad, and if I don't pack a single team of the S somehow, then this is what the squad's going to look like. Of course, of course, we're gonna we are going to get one team of the S. It's going to be Mbappe, uh, but we're going to get Eusebio, Best, Bruno, Sawa, Kante, Alfonso, Cafu, Maldini. We can keep the recent block. Those are the two players that are going to stay. Uh, this is this is going to be our team post team of the year. I'm telling you guys, we're gonna we're gonna pack this Mbappe. We're gonna pack one team of the year, and it's going to be Mbappe. Uh, so that that is that. Um, what else? What else is there for me to for me to say? Yeah, Evo. So uh, I was explaining. If you guys don't know, I'm sure I'm sure some of you guys with the amount of people posting it, I'm sure a lot of you guys know. So I have completed this rose card i've done the level three of growth spout two i've completed that now if i claim it he his stats will go too high that i wouldn't have been able to put him in patrick patrick who right i think uh i think it was the pace you needed something like uh, i think there might be another patrick who we can actually check uh yeah the max pace was 73 so if i did claim this object uh, objective if i did claim this evo he'd have 75 pace i wouldn't have been able to put him in patrick who now that i um i have put him in patrick who apparently if the glitch is still possible i can claim this afterwards and the additional stats the five pace six passing five dribbling five defending dead ball plus apparently they still get added 
and I've already put him into this Evo, so I, he can't be removed. So even though he doesn't fit the requirements, he will still get all the upgrades needed. Now, once I have finished this uh, Patrick Who, he'll get the CDM position, and I'll be able to put him into Team of the Air Visionary. Again, overall 77. Um, if I was to claim this, he would get a plus five, which means um, which means even if I didn't do this Patrick Who, he'd be 78 rated. He just wouldn't fit into this. So again, uh, because I'm not claiming these evolutions, apparently they, they're going to fit the requirements. I'll be able to put them in and then I can claim them afterwards. So the one that I showed you before... Uh, with 99 physical, 88 pace, 82 defending, and I think the mid 80s in passing and dribbling. Apparently, I'll be able to get that card if I do the evos in the right order. I make sure I don't claim them, and that's the that's basically the evo glitch. Again, like everything, you can probably find someone online that explains it way better than you. I'm just terrible at explaining things, um, but yeah, I, I'm gonna have like some crazy insane evo with this adopo i think with this adopo i can't even i can't even level it up to level two i think i just complete level one and then just wait the six days then put him into uh which one is it i put him into fast forward which i need to unlock within 11 days expires in 18 days once i've done that i put him into team of the Year unsung hero which again it unlocks within 19 days so i think i have a day from when this expires to put him into this and uh, then he's going to have one of the most insane cards in the game. Now, I, I am very, very worried because that leaves 19 days. Uh, oh, not 19 days. Um, 18 days. It leaves... Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, 18 days. It leaves 18 days for EA to patch it. If EA don't patch it within 18 days, I can get that crazy 98 rated card with 90 plus stats in, in everything. If EA do patch it, that's three weeks for them to be like, okay, this is too far. We don't want people having 99, 98, 97 rated cars with these insane, insane stats. It, it's a risk. It's a risk. I've put 75k into that card already. And in a few days, another 75k. A few days after that, another 75k. It's a risk that EA do patch it. But I'm, I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to take it. And that's that's the same reason that I said for Saar. I've done all the evos. He doesn't actually fit into anything else, but I'm saving him because maybe in a week, maybe in two weeks, there'll be a new evo and uh, getting a plus five in rating. Uh, what's that? Five pace, six passing, five dribbling, five defending. It means that there's even less chance that he'll fit an evo. If I just say, save him on this 82 rated card, then there's going to be a chance that an evo comes out and I can put him in. But yeah, this, this Evo glitch is crazy. I can understand some people are, are annoyed with it. Some people are saying, no, this is broken. How can we allow EA to... Oh, how can we allow people to like abuse this? Like, how are EA not fixing it? I kind of understand it, but I don't think it's as bad as some of the other glitches that... Uh, for example, the, the pack glitch where people are getting infinite packs... Um, I heard some people comparing those two, like they're saying, oh, they're both glitches, like they should both be bannable. One of them costs FIFA points slash coins. One of them, uh, you need to play like, I don't even know, like 50 games to, or not probably not 50, you have to play like 20 to 30 games to get them to these crazy stats. It's still like an extremely broken thing that probably shouldn't be in the game, but one of them, it takes seconds to get hundreds of packs the other one, um, it takes weeks to get a, a very, 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 very good card. Um, I don't know. They're both very broken. If EA do decide to patch it, I can't even blame them because it's it's crazy. Like, I'm, I'm planning on getting Maldini and... Um, yeah, I'm planning on getting Maldini done. And there's a possibility that I'm going to get a centre-back slash CDM slash centre-mid. Or, or maybe there's no CDM. I think it's centre-mid slash C... Uh, Centimeter slash center back, uh, so I can play in either position that uh, will probably last me until literally the last months of the game. I'll probably have like a thousand games played with him. Like that's how broken this Evo is, and I can I can fully fully understand why EA would patch it. But yeah, I don't know. I just have to wait. I, I just have to wait three weeks and we'll see if I if I still have that card. Um, now, we got about 20 minutes until content. I should probably go into a game because um, I still have qualifiers to do. I've got a day and 14 hours to uh, to get as many of these done. Like I said, I'm probably going to stop at 70. Uh, I'll need to like buy players if I wanted to go further than that, but we can do that in a bit. I think, I think I'll just go into a game for now. 
I've been playing Resident Evil 2 for the first time. What a game. I've always been curious with the Resident Evil games. Like, obviously, it's one of the biggest gaming franchises. Uh, or fran franchise, biggest gaming genre. No, what, what am I even trying to... Look, uh, what word am I looking for? IP, the biggest gaming IP. Like, I've heard a lot of positive stuff. Um, I know people that, that say the games are so good. I don't know why. I've tried Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 7, and I just couldn't get into it. Like, I, I didn't play a crazy amount. Um, probably, like, just basically what the intros would be, like, half an hour. I just, I just didn't enjoy it. I think when I played Resident Evil 1, I, I had a bug, and I literally just couldn't proceed forward. Um, it was it was something so weird. Like I I was meant to move um, move something out of the way, and I moved it into a corner, which meant that I just couldn't get it out of the corner, and um, and yeah, I, I just I couldn't progress forward into the game. And then Resident Evil, I think it was seven, uh, which was given free with PlayStation Plus. I tried it, and. I don't know, like, I, I understand where it was going, but it did seem like it was getting a bit stretched out, like, not much was happening after me playing for, like, half an hour to an hour. I'll be back at six, yeah, that is fine. All right, we'll probably play one game as long as the opponent doesn't quit. We will finish right before 6pm, and then at 6pm we'll probably get a Sour SBC and Team of the Air Defenders in packs. And Team of the Air Icon Team 2. Um, oh my god, you know what, I'll take, I'll take the free win, like, I can't complain about a free win, <laughs> I was just saying I wanted to complete a full game, we'll take it, we'll take it, 3-0 in qualifiers, thank you, random, um, person online, uh, I also just played The Witcher 3 for like 120 hours, Witcher 3 is another game, I think I might have even bought the game, I just haven't played it, I probably bought it a year ago, you just hear so many positive things, I don't actually know exactly what the game is, like, about, I know it's like an open world game, I know there's like so many things you can do. I don't actually know like the main story of it, but I've just had so many good things. I saw it for like five pounds. I was like, okay, I'll just buy it because I know at some point I'm going to play the game. But yeah, I, I hear so many positive things. The thing is right now with me playing like so much FC 24, it's like, okay, I play, I play all, like every bit of gameplay that I need to play, like foot champs, foot champs qualifiers. I, I even stopped doing rivals. I play uh, squad battles to get the objectives done. And that's about it. Like, I don't even do... Oh, God, this guy. I don't even do, like, an insane amount like I used to when, when I first got FC24. Yeah, I'm still playing so much. And then after all of that, I'm, like, grinding menus slightly. I just don't have time to play other games. Like, occasionally, like, if I'm playing with a friend or family, then maybe sometimes I'll play something else. But just... Um, please be on side there. Oh, come on. Yeah, I, I just don't have that much time. I remember when I had stopped playing FIFA 23 uh, to the time that I bought FC 24, there was like a month or no longer than a month, maybe like two or three months because I did buy FC 24 late. Uh, so that one or two months, I remember I was playing other games and I was actually enjoying it so much. I was like, oh, finally, like I, I don't have the, the, what do you call it? Like the, the fear of missing out of like, like you need needing to log in every single day, uh, like, 6 p.m look at what the content is like doing all of that i was like oh for once i don't have that kind of um need to log on and do something every single day and i can actually try some other games and i was like oh, i'm enjoying this so much and i remember i, I started playing um oh I, I played quite a few games but the two main games that i was playing that i still haven't finished were dark souls and red dead redemption 2 and they were they were such fun games and i just i think dark souls both Dark Souls and Red Dead, it's games that I'm like, I just can't play while I'm playing FIFA. Because you do have to put a lot of time into it. It's not really a game that you can play for like an hour here and there. Well, I guess you could. But for me, the way that I like playing those games, it's kind of like, okay, I need to I need to properly prepare. I need to... What am I doing? I need to sit there for like multiple hours a day. Um, like, I, I can't just sit there doing it for one hour. It needs to be like a, like a proper three hour minimum at a time. Uh, like properly getting invested in the game and it was like yeah if i'm playing fc24 i just can't do that probably top three games of all times i i've heard uh, like it's just i've heard just so many people say positive things and rating it so highly that i do want to try it, even though i know so little about it 
So excited to play against Team Their VVD. <laughs> god, oh my god, just just 20 more minutes. Uh, yo, oh my god, Waldo with the resub. Uh, 18 month sub. Oh my god, you have to be up there. I think I probably say this every month. You have to be up there with like the the highest month count um, of anyone on my on my streams. Thank you so much. I appreciate it coming back every single month, giving me the sub. Um, matters. <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, it's uh, like, thank you, thank you, thank you. Can't thank you enough. Um, being one of the, one of the many loyal people sticking with me since the the start of my streaming journey. Uh, love G, I get, um, I get W. I'm number one. You must be. I, I wonder, can I, is there like a leaderboard for who's the most subscribed or uh, who's subscribed for the longest? There must be a leaderboard out there, but... I don't know where to look. Um, Autocorrect. Wait, what were you trying to say? Lovely. Intercepted him and it just bounced back to the most threatening play on the pitch. I remember before, um, everyone used to spam that. What was it? It was the watch time command and the the follow age command i remember there was a bug with it i i don't know if they still work but everyone used to spam that so much i don't see people using that anymore i think the thing is that most of the people that watch me like i, don't, I haven't really got too many new viewers in a very very long time so most of the people uh, started watching me around the same time but the the watch what was it the watch time I haven't seen you guys spam that command in a while i wonder I wonder who has the highest watch time. I remember before it was always like, um, it was McCann who had like nearly as many hours watched as time streamed, as like my time streamed. Um, <laughs> don't know how he did it. Um, let me look at the chat after the ball has gone out of play rather than when the ball's in my box. Alright, 1-1. One, one. This guy's actually really good, and the worst thing is he's got a crazy team. Um, Hullet, Ronaldinho, Eusebio. Don't even know the rest of his team. Louder at right back, interesting. Yeah, Dinho. <laughs> no, this is the problem with not concentrating on the match. I'm too busy, like, thinking of... think. I'm too busy thinking of what to say and read in chat to actually pay attention to this game. Just don't have the option because everyone's being marked. That's such a bad shot. Um, started playing EFC like a week ago. Got 94 ZZ from the icon pack. Oh my god. How is Billy any good? I, I like her a lot. I feel like she is very good. You can probably find better cards. Dribbling is very good. Uh, passing is good. Has like nice shooting stats, even though I don't shoot with her too much. Um, I'd say, I'd say maybe the defending and maybe the the pace is is the kind of uh, things that let her down. But yeah, I I think she's good. I think I'm getting uh, Guro instead. How much is she now? Um, or well, both of them? One year, seven months. One year, five months. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I randomly packed him there, Xavi, yesterday. Haven't used him yet. What do you mean randomly packed him? Is, isn't every pack random? Um, <laughs> but I, uh, I'd use him. Let me know how good he is. I, I don't really plan on buying him, but he seems like one of those cards that would be really good and just no one, no one rates him as much. Why is he taking so long to turn around? Oh my god, he, look how many players he's got. I know that's partially my fault for taking so long to, to actually attack. But he's got so many players. Why did he take so long to shoot? I'm lucky that went in. Um, 11 months, 3 weeks, almost 1 year. Oh my god, yeah. I, I do miss when we were getting like 10 followers a day. 
um, when we're getting new people joining. But like, I, I always say this, it's, it's partially my fault, partially just like, I don't know, a bit of luck, partially me just like, um, yeah, like, I, I just haven't been streaming as much this year and last year as much as I did in the first year. Um, I haven't been posting as much on TikTok and all that. I, I remember going on like multiple week slash month breaks. And yeah, obviously I'm gonna gonna end up losing viewers. The even on TikTok the, the view count is gonna drop. But yeah, I keep sell telling myself that I need to like properly sweat out streaming, sweat out TikTok, be like posting so much more. I I, I just don't do it. <laughs> but I should. I should. What's going on, Mondo? One year, seven months? Oh my god. A lot of you guys, uh, that, that's probably when I started streaming, right? One year, seven months. A lot of you guys around that time. You know what? Let's focus up. This guy, this guy can easily beat me with his team. What was that lag? Um, got UCL Hero Company, Luc uh, wait, UCL Hero Company, Lucio Blanc, VVD, which two do I start? Uh, I, I haven't tried Company and Lucio. I've obviously heard that they're good, but I really like Blanc and also Van Dyke's extremely overpowered. Uh, so I'd probably go with those two. Why did he take so long to shoot? Started watching you when you started TikTok. I'll never forget, I, I hadn't even done TikTok that long. Like, I was posting semi-regularly, just, like, small bits here and there. And then, uh, like, it was, a, it was a crazy moment if I got anything over, like, 500 views. Uh, and then just one TikTok blew up and it got, like, 300k. Next TikTok I post got, like, 150k. And then everyone was asking me, oh my god. Everyone was asking me, oh, you need to start streaming, you need to start streaming. And that was always the goal. Like, I wanted to kind of build up some sort of following, then start streaming. But yeah, I, I, I genuinely still can't believe how fast the growth was. Like, I went from uh, starting streaming, zero people know who I am, zero people follow me. And then within, like, one week, I had an average of more views than I've been getting the past few months. Like, my, my average views the past few months since I started playing FC24 has probably been, like, six or something like on average there's six people watching me and i think within a week i was already at like eight people watching me within a couple weeks i was at like 15 people watching me uh within a month i was probably at like um probably around like 20 uh second month i think i had reached like 30 and then the third month that's when i was reaching like 40 to 60 views every single stream and it was like, I don't know what I did. I think it, it was, it was just consistency. It was just me streaming for like three hours every single day, not missing a single day, posting like one to three times on TikTok, TikTok a day. And I don't really know, like, I, I don't know if it's just FIFA, like me falling out of love with the game. Like I was, I love this game so much and it's just fallen off so much. I don't know if it's just me being lazy, me just not liking FIFA as much me obviously doing this whole project team of the end not opening packs when i first blew up on tiktok this was during team of the season i think it was it was bundesliga team of the season and la liga team of the season like those those two weeks is what was like crazy because during bundesliga team of the season i packed i packed bellingham who was worth like two three million coins and i packed alfonso davis who was also worth a lot and I packed, um, I packed a tradable team of the season, which was worth like 300k. Then, uh, oh my god, what a pass. Please don't mess this up. How have I messed that up? How have I messed that up? How have I messed that up? Um, yeah, then during the Liga team of the season, I packed Vinny. Uh, then during Liga and, uh, Liga and team of the season, I packed Messi. So I definitely think like my crazy pack luck at the time definitely helped with the the views going up. Um, but I don't know, people people enjoyed the streams. Um, and then yeah, 
I guess I guess me just not opening packs the past few months like obviously if that's the main thing that I'm posting if that's what people are watching my content for uh, if that's where like most of my views came from god how have I messed up so many times then obviously the the views the amount of videos I'm posting is going to drop off and yeah I'll never forget I'll never forget going from average of 60 or like 40 to 60 views every single stream like I genuinely thought, oh, maybe if I can just continue this growth, um, what a goal, 90th minute. If I can just continue this growth, maybe I could make it like full time. Possibly. I know it's, it's so difficult to make it full time as a streamer. But I was thinking, look, if I'm, if in three months I've gone from zero to 60, um, then, then it's like, oh, surely, surely I like, there's a small chance that I can make it. And then my internet goes out for three months. So my internet went out for the same amount of time that I had been streaming and yeah I was definitely going to lose views and I feel like after that just the drop off in views just I lost that I lost that um that love for streaming or not not love for streaming love for like just streaming every single day like not missing a single day and just you see the drops in views on TikTok you see the drops in views on on Twitch and then after that I think just I, I like I've, I've shown it or not shown I've talked about it multiple times on stream but just the um just over time I take like a week break here a week break there a month break here you just see every single break that I take the average views dropping and dropping and dropping um I saw one of your first TikToks and checked it, checked if you were live and you were. Yeah, that's the thing. I always used to post at 4 p.m. and I used to start streaming at 4 p.m. That, I still do that. I still post the TikTok as soon as I go live. So then if someone watches the TikTok when, once it's come out, then they'll like check out my Twitch and they'll see that I'm usually live. And I think that's another thing. Like I said, I was streaming like three hours a day. So that leaves three hours. The first three hours the TikTok is up, people can come check it whether I'm live. I feel like now... I'll check content in a minute. I feel like now, because I'm streaming for like one to two hours, it just leaves less time for people to like find the TikTok and then be like, oh, I wonder if he's streaming. Lucio and VVD. I would say VVD has to be one of the center backs. Uh, eight days, one hour. Four days, seven hours. That definitely should be higher. So a price prediction, I'm thinking 2.5. I'm thinking 1.8. Same price as best. I changed my name so that my watch time is false. Yeah, I remember. Although, although you changed your name a while ago. <laughs> like I know, like I said, my I've been streaming so much less. I feel like I feel like you changed it a while ago. All right, so 93 rated. Let's compare her card to her base card. So she has got a plus two in rating, two pace, one shooting, two passing, two dribbling, two defending, and four physicals. So not the not the most insane boost like it's still a it's still a very nice boost i was thinking maybe maybe like a couple more pace possibly maybe you know what? it's a, it's a nice card it's a nice card it is a like what plus twos plus ones um like mostly mostly wait what is it plus two pace one shooting uh two passing two dribbling two defending four physicals yeah mostly plus twos please have four star week for that's all i'm asking for um Wait, that's it. That's her four star or five star. I wanted five star. She still has four four. Yeah, she was four four before. Hi hi. I'm guessing she was the same before. Yeah, hi hi. Um, sentiment cam. She could play sentiment cam now for play style. So she had relentless plus. She still has relentless plus, and she also has press proven plus. Um, she had press proven base before. Long ball and incisive. She had first touch, she had and quick step, she had so yeah. Play stars haven't changed. The only thing that has changed is that she has gained press proven plus instead of press proven. Now, uh, I said same price as best. Oh my god, 10 squads, bronze squad, silver squad, 83, 86. Whoa, 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 this seems too cheap. 86, 87, 87, 88, 88, 89. Whoa, whoa, that is so cheap. That is so cheap. Huh? That seems so, so cheap. 1.2 mil. Okay, a tiny bit more than I thought. I thought this was going to be like a million coin SBC. But when they're saying 1.2 mil, that seems so cheap. Uh, although the, the squads the squads look like it should be cheaper. Six squads less than best. 
Yeah, wait, what? How is it six squads less? Isn't best 1.8 mil? Oh, he's, he's gone up a bit. He's like two mil. Yeah, I guess fodder's gone up. Well, he's like 1.9. Um, yeah, this is like 700k cheaper than best. This seems crazy. Dynamic image as well. Um, this, this seems really good. This seems really, really good. I'm going to get her done, 100%. Bruno Fernandez, Soa, um, George Best, Eusebio, Maldini, Cafu, Alfonso. And then I need, did I say Maldini? Maldini as well. And then I just need a striker. This, we are going to pack Mbappe because he's the one striker that I need. Um, let me catch up with chat. Uh, I did team with the best and he absorbed my fodder. Uh, college class has been cancelled for tomorrow. GG. It was odd yesterday and today because of the weather and it's meant to be worse tonight and in the morning. Uh, I think if you upload a vid on TikTok and you're showing that you have a lot of packs, I'm sure uh, people want to uh, see you open them. I've been doing that the past few weeks. I've been like reminding people I'm doing project team in the air. This is like an update on how many packs I've got. I'm sure I'm sure on like Thursday, Friday, I'm going to like properly say, okay, this is it. This is the big team in the pack opening. We'll get like a few people joining, but not, not the same as before. Um, yeah, the internet, the internet being out for three months. I don't understand. I don't understand. And every single time they said, oh yeah, it'll be fixed in a week. And then a week would pass and then we'd like, yeah, it'll be fixed in a week. So it ain't expensive. I can't lie. So it was nice. New Evo. Let's have a look. Uh, at the new Evo. I did I heard some people talking about it. Again, whenever I see leaks, I try my best to like not pay attention to them. Um it's a free Evo. It is the center back Evo. So uh overall max 85, pace max 82, physical max 88, number of play styles eight, uh number of plays are plus a zero, position center back, you get a plus four in rating, three pace. Four passing, uh, three dribbling, four defending, and three physical. It's an okay one. It is free. The boost isn't anything like insane. Um, I do wonder if the two evils I'm going for, Lindsay Rose and uh, this Adopo, I do wonder. Yeah, this Adopo is a centre back. Yeah. I do wonder if there's another Evo that I can combine. Oh, not another. I do wonder if I can combine this Evo to either of them. And get them even better than I I'm trying to trying to get them. It would be crazy. I doubt it just because, uh, like already this card is going to be 98 rated. This one's going to be 90 something rated. Um, but if the Evo glitch works, we could make it even better. I doubt it because you need to put them into these, right? Both of them I'm going to put into Team of the Year Visionary and Unsung Hero, and they both, uh, they both expire. Where is it? Yeah, they expire within 25 days. This one, you need to start it within 20 days. Yeah, you have to wait. So you have to wait for the thing to expire and then you can start a new one. But it expires after you need to unlock this. I hope that makes sense. Uh, join cord 83 times 10. Back to the good old days. All right, I'm guessing I guess you put that in chat a while ago. <laughs> let, me, let me join. Let's watch this share play. I'm sorry, I'm always so behind in chat. And also, I, I notice whenever I switch my screen, my camera is in a different position. Let's see what we're going to get. Um, is that? That's not Oberdorf, is it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, of course. Oh, of course, it's Oberdorf. Um... <laughs> Wait, is my yeah? It's, uh, I was just checking the position of the camera. Uh, wow, Obadorf, seven minutes after she's out of packs. <laughs> what a coincidence! Uh, can you look at Evos? Yeah, I looked at that Waldo. Uh, can we see the team on the loading screen? Yeah, I'll, I'll look at that. Your views already starting going up. Yeah, I know at six o'clock, usually the views like go up a tiny bit. Oh, okay, 14 views that's that's higher than average. Um, yeah, the usually at six o'clock, new content. A few people joined, but yeah, the average the average has been a bit low. What else are we opening? 30 coin pack? Oh yeah, I need to open my 30 coin. You know, the past few ones I've opened, I've been getting a walkout. So these 30 coin packs are honestly so, so good. Uh, we get a... Uh, that's not a board or walkout, is it? Oh, it's uh, Chimini's board. Uh, new team of the air icons. Oh yeah, we have to look through all the cards. What players are impacts? I will go through that. Is that is that all of them? Um, 
Is that all the things? Well, I'll join you back once you've completed the SVC. Yeah, let's let's have a look at the new cards that are in packs. Uh, so we've got some new team of the icons, and we have the uh, oops, we have the defenders in packs. So if I go local defenders, uh, team of the yeah, my menus are really slow right now. All right, so from worst to best. So we got Bright, 85 pace, uh, 84 passing, 82 dribbling, 94 defending, 96 physical. Not a bad card. Uh, four star weak foot isn't bad at all. And oh my god, she actually has a lot of play styles. My menus feel so slow. Power header, long ball pass, jockey, and intercept, anticipate, bruiser plus, and aerial plus. Yo, that's that's actually a nice card. Um, yeah, look, worst, uh, worst defender is still really good. Hernandez, oh my god, this card's going to be crazy. Four star, four star, can play left mid as well. That's going to be very good for squad building. 98 pace, 82 shooting, 87 passing, 89 dribbling, 88 defending, 92 physical. Oh my god, the play stars as well. Yeah, these defenders have a lot of really good play stars. Jockey plus and quick step plus. Uh, we've got Frimpong, again, loads of play stars. Uh, four star, four star, can play right mid as well. Yeah, oh, both fullbacks and team with their can play in the midfield so i do wonder if um i do wonder if you could or you, you could you can do some a lot of really cool things with squad building um and then yes yeah, stats obviously 99 pace 95 dribbling that's gonna be crazy defending and physical is really good as well renard 87 pace i saw like all her other cards she got a fire and ice card base card i think she might have even got an inform um, all had like low pace, 87 pace. Some people are saying that she's going to be uh, the female Van Dyke, six foot two as well. Um, I did, still don't know how to say her, her name. Onya Battle, uh, four star, four star. Um, good pace, good dribbling, good defending, good physical. Uh, yeah, that card, that card is going to be so, so good. Can play left back as well. Interesting. Incisive pass plus, jockey plus. Very, very nice. Ruben Diaz, uh, I'm going to go through this quick so that... Or should we should we just quickly look at Waldo's thing? He's got another 83 times 10. And then we'll go through the last three players and then the team of the ads as well. Uh, daily login. I will not forget that. Uh, team of the ads has become a joke nowadays. I feel like team of the ads was always insane. No? Are you saying it? Are you saying it? It's a joke as in, oh, it's a joke how crazy these cards are? Or you're saying like <laughs> it in a negative way? Like, oh, this is such a joke. Uh, that's going to be, don't say this is an 83. Oh, he's 85. I thought for a second you got Gakpo. 85 as a highest from an 83 times 10. Oh yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Um, right, Ruben, yes, 88 pace. Now, that is going to be crazy because his, what was it called? Trailblazer. His Trailblazer was good and it had like 65 pace. Four star weak foot as well. Yeah, this is going to be an auto defender. Oh my god, look at these play styles. Block, intercept plus, anticipate, slide tackle, and bruiser plus. Oh my god, and aerial as well. Crazy. Karchawi can play uh, only left back, left wing back. Crazy pace passing, dribbling, defending. Oh my god, this card is going to replace backer. Um, oh my god, play styles. Whipped pass plus, anticipate, block plus, jockey, technical, quick step, and relentless. And then we got the most overpowered in the game. If he wasn't already overpowered, they gave him 88 pace. Auto defender, 96 defender, 93 physical. Crazy, crazy card. 93 reaction, 94 composure, 91 short pass, 99 long pass. Yeah, this is, oh my god, block plus, anticipate plus, jockey, bruiser. What's that, long ball, header aerial oh my god this is disgusting disgusting and then uh, you got the goalkeepers as well you got the one card in team of the air that no one wants to pack because she's five foot eight look at least look 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 she's five foot eight ea know no one's going to use her just give her five star weak foot got all the play styles and i still don't understand i heard some people saying that goalkeepers can't get play style pluses i don't understand why they can't put that in the game um and then you got allison who is possibly one of the best goalkeepers in the game. And now they've given him a team of the air. So that's crazy. Uh, so you know what? The defense isn't even that bad. It's not bad at all. And then if we go to team of the air icons. We got uh, the start. Start from worst to best again. So we got Essien. Okay, 87 pace. 82 passing. 83 dribbling. 89 defending. 90 physical. Can play CDM centre mid. 4 star, 4 star. This looks like a really nice card. And again, with a play style, Jockey Plus, Aerial Plus, uh, what's that? Relentless, 
press proof and anticipate incisive and power shot like i don't know if they're i don't know if all these base cards have loads of play styles like i haven't i haven't really looked at essien's base card but these seem these seem so crazy yeah he's got he's got jockey plus power shot incisive pass anticipate press proven relentless so yeah they've just they've just added the one play style the play style plus aerial crazy crazy card we got Lam. Lam's always been one of my favorite cards. He is four star, four star, high, high, right back, right wing back, left back, CDM. So many positions you can play him. I actually really liked him at CDM, but full back would also be good. I'd say you probably want to play him on the right because um because of four star weak foot. Good pace, good passing, good dribbling, good defending, good physical. Would I play this CDM or full back? You know what? I might play a CDM. I might, if I had this card, definitely CDM. Loads of play styles as well. Long ball pass plus and relentless plus. Two very good play styles. Then we got Mateus again. One of my favorite icons. I don't know why I like these German icons so much. Four star, four star, high, high. Can play center back, CDM and center mid. Honestly, Mateus has always just been one of my favorite center mids in the game. If I pack this, there's, there's no way he's getting out of my team uh, until like the last month of the game. And he's got oh power shot plus and dead ball plus. Interesting that they've given him two shooting stats. I know the dead ball plus isn't necessarily a shooting, um, a shooting thing. It's like just for free kicks. I guess it would work for like uh, free kicks from far away. Uh, but he's got that anticipate. A lot of these players have anticipate. Rapid, relentless, quick step. Oh my god! This, honestly, this card's gonna be crazy. Ferdinand, eighty-seven pace, ninety-three defending, ninety physical. Jockey, Anticipate Plus, Slide Tackle Plus, Prusa. Oh my god, yeah, these icons look so good. Vieira, uh, wait, was Vieira in the last? Was he in Team 1 or Team 2? I can't even remember. Oh, Vieira was Team 1. He was definitely Team 1. And then Ham, if this card wasn't already overpowered enough. 5 star, 5 star, Striker Cam, Centre Forward, Right Wing. Honestly, this is one of the most annoying cards to come up against because it's so, so good. And then, oh my god, Power Shot Plus, Rapid Plus, Flare first touch relentless quick step actually not the best play stars finesse shot as well um but yeah this card this card's gonna be broken so so good so yeah that's all the new cards i think i think um that's horrendous uh, i already read that had it from pong get one yeah he just decided to give it i must go have a good one hamo uh you too you too uh, what's going on, McCann? barcelona dominating women's football in all aspects uh wish it was men's domination like back in the day um yeah now it's um i don't even know what team is dominating it right now i would have said city but this season they weren't as good as uh, as last season um what is mia ham never wait what is mia ham never hit ham wait what <laughs> um all right so uh i am still not going to be opening packs my coin balance is so low oh yeah there's one thing i just completely missed we did get a new upgrade a uh, new upgrade thing. 87. I think this is the new thing. Yeah, six days. This must have been new. You can do it twice. Uh, oh, no, you can do it once every two days. And a one of three Ultimate Dynasty Team of the Group stage or Winter Wildcard player rated 87 or higher, not including heroes and icons. I don't know the list of players that you can get, but just from memory, the players aren't going to be that good. Well, in Ultimate Dynasty, the literally the only player I can remember is Haaland. Like, the only good player. Can't think of anyone else. Team in the group stage. What, there was Mbappe? Mm. <laughs> was there a Bellingham card? Honestly, I can't even remember. And we went to wild card. Like, my memory is so bad and the cards were just terrible. That there's no one that sticks out. Uh, but this probably isn't worth it. I'm guessing, yeah, one squad. 80, 80, 86. I was going to say 87. That would have been a bit too much. Yeah, 86. Even that seems a bit too much. And then upgrades. Um, I don't think anything change, has changed. So yeah, remember to get your, your daily login, maybe your daily draft if you care about that. Daily gold upgrade is so, so good right now. You're getting 44 gold cards. You stick it into the winter wild card crafting. That's an extra four packs that you can get. By, you submit some bronze and silvers and you can get 12 more gold rares with the addition, if you haven't already finished this, of the bonus packs. Uh, daily bronze, daily uh, silver to put into the daily gold. And yeah, that's that's about it. That's the, the daily reminders. Uh, guaranteed three icon pack in the store. Oh my god. Look, I, I don't even check store packs. There's so much to check. There's the new players. There's SBCs. 
evos i haven't even seen if there's any objectives i doubt there is and then there's packs as well there's a three guaranteed icon pack what is this it's not even an icon pack it's a thunderstruck dynasty or winter wild card you can't even get the base cards in this <laughs> also 15 rare gold player items okay no this is honestly crazy because if an icon pack came out it'd probably be like 200 to 300k and that's exactly the price of this so you forget submitting all your players you can just spend the coins or if you're one of those people spend the fee points how much would it be it's like 30 pounds the sad thing is there's going to be thousands if not tens of thousands of people that actually buy this and it's a 30 pound pack imagine imagine spending 30 pounds just to get three icons in a game that in about six months in about six months you're probably going to stop playing it's it's honestly crazy when i watch these like streamers and they're doing uh not even the streamers opening packs the streamers doing share plays and just the amount of people that it's like i i don't know i don't know i don't know if i'm just extremely poor or if everyone's just extremely rich but people are spending like i don't even know 100 pounds a week it's crazy it's crazy um <laughs> did all the winter wildcard crafting yesterday i, I don't think i'm going to spend coins and I said this at the start of the stream, I think I'll be able to do another 30 of these. And I'm on 40 right now. Uh, so probably, yeah, I'll just reach the 70 uh, with players in my club. And then, yeah, just spending coins on this just seems like a bit of a waste. I know you get the three rare gold plus the bonus packs. But yeah, reaching 150, I'm going to have to spend so many coins. Daily play, that's another thing. Make sure you get that done. And draft. Oh yeah, this draft. I don't know if it's just me. But the last draft objective was so much more difficult than this. This one seems so easy. Like, I'm I'm terrible this year. I'm so much worse than I was in previous years. I think I won one draft. And then I reached the semi-final in another one. Oh no, I reached the semi-final in two of them. Yeah, yeah, I reached the semi-final in two of them. And then I won the last one as well. I think, I think. Or maybe I reached the final in the last one. And then started a new one. But yeah, this was this was a lot easier than the first time. I remember the first time, there were some drafts I was doing that I struggled to get one win. Uh, so I was getting anywhere between like zero wins and three wins per draft. Um, so I don't know. I, I've been playing so much worse since this year. I'm terrible at the game. Yeah, I do think that this week draft objective was so much easier. Maybe it was to do with the time that I was playing. But uh, definitely get your draft tokens completed. And if you already have some, get this done. Because again, it's just free packs. Plus you get the Dante, plus you get a Dumfries who isn't isn't that good. But I've heard this Dante is good. Good stats um, on his card. Good play stars as well. You know what? That's a that's a hugely underrated thing. You look at Dante, you're like, oh, it's not going to be that good. Um, he has got some very, very nice play styles. Uh, if we can find him. Yeah, block plus anticipate and bruiser and aerial. After after looking at all the, the icons and team of the airs, it kind of looks a bit plain, only seeing like three defensive, two other ones. Uh but he, he actually has some nice play styles for uh, for a free card in this game. Uh open one guaranteed defender. Who me? I, I didn't even do the guaranteed defender ones. <laughs> I did the three midfielders and three attackers. I didn't even bother doing the defenders. Uh, just because I, I ran out of fodder and I ran out of coins. I didn't want to spend like every single last coin that I have on it. Uh, they literally couldn't make uh, could have made the whole team bastard players and no one would complain. <laughs> Had over 2,000 players in my club. I have 1,000 now. Can you check from this screen? Um, I know on on the... Web app companion, web app and companion app. You can. Uh, is there a way of me checking how many players I have instead of like scrolling through? I feel like this year, like just like everything, it's lower than everything else. Um, last year I probably had thousands of players in my club. This year a lot less. New champs objective. Is it over three or four weekends? Oh, I'm gonna need to back out for it to show up. I don't. It, it didn't show up for me today. Most of the time, to see new objectives, I need to back out. We'll see. We'll see um, how many weeks it's over. How many how many days is it? I guess that will help. Uh, 
There we go. Team of the Air champion bonus. So you need you need 40 wins over 20 days. So that's going to be uh, I don't I don't even know. Uh, 20 days is one foot champ. Sweet. I think four foot champs. Uh, three foot champs. I don't even know. Honestly, I can't. I can't do maths. Um, twenty foot champs. It should be three. I think it should be three. Yeah, and just just looking at the wins, needing forty wins. That is definitely going to be three. Uh, so you need you need thirteen wins a weekend, which like if I'm playing well, if I'm playing well, thirteen wins a weekend should be easy. I look once I have a solid team with all those SPCs I'm planning to do. I think thirteen wins should be so so easy. I I think I think I don't want to be too optimistic. I think once I've actually got a team that I can use, I can get I can be back to sixteen wins because I have got it multiple times this year, just the past month. Like as as time goes on, my team gets worse and worse compared to other people's because everyone else is improving their team. I'm sticking with a with a fairly average team. It's still really good. I every time I talk about my team, I'm like, yeah, it's it's not good. It's behind the power curve. It's still a good team. Um, but I don't know compared to the teams that I come up against, it does seem it does seem a bit behind the power curve. But yeah, once once I've made a completely new team and changed like nine out of eleven of these players. Then I should be able to get 16 every week. Three weekends, yeah. Yeah, 40 wins in four weekends would, would have been too easy. I feel like EA, EA usually make it like not difficult, but not like the average person can get it. Um, but yeah, last... Oh my god, it's so annoying because last foot champs, I think I could have got the... I, I could have got both foot champ cards, uh, but I missed out on one because I, I didn't play a full weekend. I played like 10 games uh, instead of like finishing the weekend finishing the foot champs uh so so i missed out on another red card i don't even know who i would have given it to like i was struggling to decide i, sh I probably shouldn't have put on this cane the blue the blue really messes it up but yeah i probably would have put on either either one of these front three cards back of griezmann or, or andres martin i think all the other ones I would have kept um not you yeah, probably probably Andres Martin I would have put on. Just cause he's he's a club legend. Look at this guy. 210 games played, 176 goals, 147 assists. Yes, like I wouldn't be surprised if a quarter of his games was in squad battles to actually get the card. And obviously his stats, his goals and assists are are inflated. They're higher than they should be, but it's still it's still such a good card. Like, nobody has ever talked about this card ever. I'm the only person in the world that has this card. Most likely, probably. Um, <laughs> and he's he's actually been a club legend. But yeah, it's crazy that my starting 11 is going to be my bench next week. Not even next week. How long do we have? We've got three days. Three days until it's Friday. Uh, and we'll open. We'll start opening our packs. I could have had more than a thousand, but... I just wanted to open those like really bad packs I have, uh, get them out of the way. But yeah, this is going to be fun. Of course, the, the three rare gold player packs show up at the front. You know what? I don't I don't mind opening these at the start. I actually would rather open these than than like the eighty three times ten showing up at the start. But yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. Uh, you know, draft token. I've done my objective. I don't know if I should carry on just because. Um, it'll be it'll be good to do drafts like throughout the week. Get a few more packs. Uh, do we do do we do another draft? Even though I finished the objective. Oh my god! What is this? I think I'm I think I'm gonna get another draft. I'll do it off stream. We have bronze. Bronze upgrades. Get these done. Silver upgrades. Get those done. I'll open the packs off stream probably. Uh, because I guess it would be a bit a bit boring opening bronze packs. Oh, I think the uh, the daily login. I think there's meant to be a pack today. Again, add on to the list of packs that we have. Uh, if you guys have not missed a day of the daily login, yes, I've got something completed. What is it this time? 
we have a premium gold place pack. Okay, that's not not the most exciting pack. They are still very very good. Um, premium gold player pack. Premium gold player packs. Two days we will get an eighty three times three, eighty four two, eighty four five, eighty five three. 8320. Yeah, this once the daily lock in done, that's gonna be nice. 14 days, not too long. Uh yeah, let me just get my SBCs done. Should I play some qualifiers on stream? Even though I hate gameplay on stream. I don't know, probably not. Yeah. I'll probably do do the qualifiers tonight and get my my Evos that I have, do them. Oh wait, did uh did did themed pursuit come today? I doubt it did. I didn't see it when I was going through the objectives. But isn't it usually Tuesday that it gets released? The themed pursuit. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we didn't get it this week. Uh, <clears throat> rivals as well. Just like every week, I'm going to get my five games played. Maybe, maybe I'll get 11 games played if I, if I'm really bothered. Um, but the, the wins is just so long. I don't, I don't know why they, they changed these up. Um, yeah, even a small prime goal plays back. Jumbo premium goal plays back. 81 times two. It's, it's all right. It's all right. I'll, I'll happily play five games for that. Bro premium prem upgrades are juiced. Did you pack something from it? <laughs> or are you just talking about fodder? I will be, I'll be doing them. I'll be doing them. Uh, I, <laughs> am I able to work out how many I'm going to be able to do? I can definitely calculate it. Um, just, just going through every single pack and working out how many rares I'm going to get. But I, I think I could get like at least a couple hundred of these. I haven't packed anything, but the fodder's crazy. Yo, that's that's the goal. That's the goal. Who cares about team of the years? We need fodder to get these icon SVCs done. Uh, yeah, honestly, this this card, like everyone's been hyping up this card, and the upgrade in terms of the the stats is good. Um, so these two, these two. Oh my god, I can't wait! I can't wait to get SVCs done. You save yo. I'm I'm so excited to use. You know, one thing I am I am thinking about is changing up my tactics, changing up my formation, because I was doing some draft and I was using Eusebio in a two striker formation and a three striker, uh, three striker, a two striker formation and a one striker formation. And I think I preferred Eusebio in the one striker. And I, and during the draft, I did really enjoy the four, one, two, no, the four, three, three, five with the center forward. I really, really liked that. So I'm thinking, even though I love the, my custom tactics so much, I'm thinking of changing it up. Play Savior Striker, best right wing, and then left wing I get someone else. Uh, once I finish Zico, Sour, uh, Sour or Hullet? Definitely Sour. Hullet, I don't know, he's, he's similar to Maldini. I've heard some people say that you need to get him done. Some people saying that he's like the biggest fraud. He's nowhere near as good as his, his base card. And I don't know, like it's a... Forget that it's Hullet. Of course, his his body type is gonna like have a huge impact and make him better. But forget he's Hullet. Just looking at those stats, you're spending. This is this is the most expensive SBC, is it not? Uh, um, is it not the most expensive SBC? Yeah, he is two point seven million coins to get done. Whereas Isabio is 2.5, George Best is 1.9, yeah, fodder's up a bit. Maldini is 1.3, Zico is 1.3, Sauer is 1.2. Hullet is just, I don't know, 2.7 million coins. I would rather, like, I don't even want Zidane. I'd rather get Zidane and Zico done. Neither of those players I'm planning on completing, but I'd rather get both of them than Hullet. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Sawa looks so good. Everyone says that her base card is is good. Four star, four star. And yeah, the passing, dribbling stats are crazy. Shooting, defending stats are crazy. Pace is, is decent. I don't even know what you'd give her. Probably Shadow, right? I don't even know. Uh, I'm probably going to play at centre mid. When are, you, uh, when are you opening packs again? The plan is 200 packs on Friday, 200 packs on Saturday, and then Sunday, just as many packs as we can. Like, I'll, I'll be streaming for, I don't even know how many hours. 
but just the until I get tired and then and then same with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like I'll just be opening packs until I get tired. But like Monday and not Monday, Friday and Saturday will open a fixed amount. Then Sunday onwards, it's just as many as I can for the day. Uh, get your promo up and start spamming the dates on TikTok. <laughs> you know, I, I've thought of like two TikToks that I'm going to post. One of them going through that that spreadsheet that Matt Foot Trading made. I'll put the thousand packs I have now because I think when I did it last time I was on like 700 packs or 800 packs. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post a video just looking at the spreadsheet, looking at the total value of all the packs, the FIFA points, the the actual money spent if if I was to buy it in FIFA points. So I'm gonna I'm gonna post that and then I'm also like on the day that I open the packs. So, well every single day, not even on the day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whenever I'm opening packs, I'm going to be like, watch me live. Um, and then apart from that, I don't know what else to post. Maybe I'll post like a, a before, my my team before team of the year. So I'm like, okay, this is the team. I'll be back in a week showing what my team looks like afterwards. Um, so I'll do, I'll do something like that. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know I need to be posting more. I know, I know. <laughs> I've learned like six uh, six to seven a day. Yo, I don't wanna I don't wanna just start spamming. Do you post on TikTok? Haven't seen it in a while. I do, I definitely have posted less. Um Oh my god, my last you know, my like the past few TikToks that I've posted. God look at the comments. The comments are just I don't even know. Let me let me show you guys. Um this yeah so so i reposted last year's team of the year pack opening so i was like okay i got hakimi i got uh can i can i scroll through um i almost discarded uh modric and militao and then i packed van dyke here and then i packed pele over here i i posted that <laughs> and just the comments look um where is it Oh, we'll, we'll give that a like. If I liked it, I've seen it. Look, dead reaction. You deserve no like, uh, no luck. And then, look at this fourteen comments. This guy goes back and forth, and I'm like, okay, I, I I'm just not gonna scream and make a, a fake reaction. And he's like, it makes no sense. How you wait? Can you guys? You guys can't see the screen. Uh, it's a bit, a bit to the side. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, it makes no sense how you play FIFA and not be extremely gas. I was like, I was guessed. I just, I'm not going to scream. And then he's like, oh, you need to show emotion. This guy um, agreeing with me. Um, you don't have to fake it. Just be more excited. And he's like, he's going back and forth. And I'm like, I was thinking, do I even respond to this guy? And then I just, I just felt like I needed to. And he's like, <laughs> some people never pack a team at the end of their life and get three in one day, two in one pack. Just be more hyped. If you think FIFA is life, you need a job. I breathe FIFA, it's what gives me life. And this is like, I don't even know. And I'm like, I say, I can't tell if you're trolling, but I think you need a break. Like, come on, you read this comment, I breathe FIFA, what gives me life. And he's like, the fact that you stream this game and can't tell I'm joking tells me all about, all, tells me all I need to know. And it's like, what has me streaming got anything to do with me understanding whether he's joking or not? I don't think, I don't think that makes a difference. So I was like, so I'm just like, I'm like, he's acting so weird. I just said, I hope everything's good in your life. Like, he definitely doesn't seem okay. And then he, someone's like, it's a game, calm down. It's not, it's life. It's like, I don't even know. And then this guy's like, yeah, if I scream, then people say I scream over pixels. It's like TikTok, it's TikTok comments. I don't even know. And this guy is like, okay, your pack luck isn't good. When you open so many packs, that doesn't even make sense. I don't really know what he's trying to say. But it's like... It doesn't work like that. Just because you open packs, that doesn't mean you're going to pack four team of the years and a Pele. And then uh, he said, I was like, oh, who said my pack luck was good? Because I, I thought like I didn't title it. Oh, my pack luck is so good. But I think when oh, I think when I packed Pele, I was like, oh, my pack luck is so good. After I packed Pele, I didn't even realize it. I, I said that. And he was like, oh, you said it near the end. <laughs> and I was like, OK, like if I'm opening that many packs again, it doesn't mean that I'm going to pack four team of the years. Like, yes, my pack luck is good. Um, and I was like, yeah, people open so many more packs. Dead reaction, of course. Why do you whistle every time you speak? I don't know if it's the mic and it picks up me whistling. Um, but I don't know. Do I, do I whistle when I speak? Um, yeah, there, there was like other comments. Like, I can't remember which one it was. The one that I, um, I think it was this one. When I posted the spreadsheet. 
Oh yeah, we can see what I was on. Yeah, I had 716 packs, 20 mil worth of um, worth of packs when I last did the spreadsheet. Now we have 300 packs more. And then again, you get you get people look all that to maybe pack Sam Kerr, who will be behind the power curve after next promo. Okay, she's not going to be behind the power curve. And also, I just I just don't understand. Like I I don't know. Like I get it's a joke, but it's like. I, I, on part of me, it's optimistic and being like, look, I've got more packs than last year. Part of me is like, yeah, you know what? I'm probably not going to pack anything. It's just, I don't know, so many people, uh, bro, just play the game. I don't understand. Um, there, there was a, there was a few other packs. I doubt you're packing anything with three player packs. If he literally looks at, look at the spreadsheet, he'll see that most of the packs aren't three player packs. You ain't packing one All that to pack nobody and maybe the key price. <laughs> Like I, I, I know that these guys are maybe joking, but it's just a bit, a bit negative. Like I don't know if I'm like just overthinking it, and it's not, it's not really that negative. But it's like just so many people being like, "Oh, you're not gonna pack anything. You're not gonna pack anything. You're not gonna pack anything." It's like, okay, maybe, maybe I'm not gonna pack anything. Um, where, where was this? It was, um, it was a bit more central. Um, yeah, maybe I'm not going to pack anything, but just <laughs> you constantly see it on TikTok. Every time I talk about packs, someone's like, oh, you're not going to pack anything. Oh, what's the point of saving? Oh, saving is so, so like not worth it. And then you get people, people arguing <laughs> at you like that. And it's like, I know, I know these are just like, they're, they're probably kids. Like, it's just, <laughs> I don't know. Just don't reply. It just ignore them. I know, I know, I know. It's just, it just annoys me. Um... Is someone name wait? Is someone name? I got team with the Mbappe. Was that was that someone's name? Oh my god! Yeah, th that's the thing with TikTok. Like I do uh, like I don't want to say that they're negative comments, but it's just with with like streaming. I see you guys coming in the stream all the time. I kind of know you. Well, not know you guys. I don't wanna don't wanna seem um. What's the what's the word um. I can't, what, what's the term? Parasocial. Yeah, I don't want to seem parasocial. Oh yeah, you guys are my friends. <laughs> but it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, I speak to you often. I kind of, I kind of know you. But then when some like random guy that I have never seen on TikTok is like, oh, you're not going to pack anything. Then it's like, is it a joke? Or is this guy trying to just um, like dig at me because I've got a lot of packs? I don't know. Takes us a bunch of bums, uh, but do not post on Instagram reels. I have always hated Instagram. Like I've, I've never, never liked Instagram. I think... When I was like younger, I used to post. Um, I used to post edits, not even not even proper edits, but just like I used to mess around on Photoshop and post it. Like not not getting any like followers, just thought I'd post it somewhere. But yeah, Instagram I've always I've always not liked. Like Snapchat, Instagram. I guess you, you throw Facebook in that as well. It's just there are three like social medias that I'm just not going to use. Um, like even Twitter, I hate Twitter so much. Just the, the the sort of things you read on Twitter, it's like people are just not normal on there. Uh, yeah, I I still spend so much time on it. I remember I deleted Tik, uh, not TikTok. Well, yeah, I've deleted TikTok before. I deleted Twitter for a few months. It was so good back then. I don't know why I downloaded it again. Uh, but yeah, when you <laughs> when you don't read the dumbest takes on on Twitter. It does. It does have your your mind at ease. Twitter's funny, you know. Twitter is so so horrible. And the thing is, I, I feel like it definitely increased when when Elon Musk bought bought Twitter. Or he changed it to X. But you just see the, the most like um, I don't know, just very very inappropriate things. Let's just say that. And it's like I, I I'm on like a meme page, and you scroll in the comments, and none of the comments are about the meme. They're just trying to promote some random stuff. And it's just, I don't even know. How about you ain't packing a team with the air? Everyone's so brain dead on Twitter. It's actually, it's actually X. Um, I, I don't think I'll ever call it X. You know, if you search Twitter on Google, it brings you to the site. It's still it's still Twitter. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really post on Twitter that much. I've always thought, like, sometimes I read something on Twitter and I'm like, oh, I could, I could respond to this. I'm just like... Twitter, Twitter, I've never, never had the feeling of posting on it. Like sometimes I'll post updates, um, like, oh, streaming today or, um, or this is, this is what I've packed off stream. But it's like once a month I probably post. Twitter is, Twitter is something else. What else? Reddit. Oh my God. I, I just 
stopped using Reddit for years and I have no idea why I downloaded it again. Reddit is just something else. It's like... I don't even know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but Reddit is just... You see, you see the worst people on Twitter on Reddit. But then you, you also see some positive stuff. It's not, it's not all bad. Um, you see a lot of people like making up stories on subreddits that are meant to be like meant to be like real, like people asking genuine questions. You just see people making stuff up. <laughs> but uh, I don't, I don't even know why. It's like when I'm bored, I just open the app and I what's it called, like doom scrolling. Um, and I just don't need to do that. But yeah, you know what? Let's think positively. Forget social media, even though, even though I'm I'm on Twitch and I guess that's a social media. Uh, but let's let's look forward to Team of the Air, which will will have to wait three days. Well, as I say every single time, once the day comes around, we will we will all be happy. We'll all be celebrating. Um, because, because it's team in the air. Because we can do SVCs. Because we can, we can open packs. And I, I haven't opened packs properly in three months. So it's going to be good. Uh, but yeah, that's that's about it, guys. Tomorrow we get. I have no idea. What do we get tomorrow? We get we get team of the week, and that's about it. And then Thursday we get all the team of the airs coming in packs. And I'm I'm still going to wait a day. Uh, for for the for the twelfth twelfth player plus honorable mentions, if I get a team of the eights, uh, so yeah, that's the th that's the th that's the sad thing. I think I'm gonna pack three team three team of the airs, and they're all gonna be ups. Uh, <laughs> uh, team of the Allison is so good. Honestly, his base card is so good. I I'm not surprised. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. We will uh you know we will do some upgrade packs tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to buy players, but I'll submit like every com common goal that I have in my club. I'll submit them. We'll do something tomorrow. I'll probably finish qualifiers, finish my evos, all that. But yeah, two more days or two more streams um, where the, the content's going to be a bit dead. And then after that, all good. All good. <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Hopefully you guys have some good luck and you can pack some team of the years. All right. Bye, everyone.